Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to see the overview of Human Skeletal System. So these are the topics that we are going to cover. First we will be seeing the introduction to Human Skeletal System followed by the Skeletal System Overview. Then we will be seeing the bone structure followed by the bone structure and the classification of bone by the shape. We will be seeing how the bone structure differs based on gender. And then we will be seeing about the types of bone marrow followed by the functions of bones. So these are the topics that we are going to cover over here. The human skeleton is nothing but the internal framework of the body which gives the shape for a human body. It is composed of 270 bones at the birth. That is, for an infant which is just born, will have 270 bones and this total will decrease to 206 bones by adulthood. That is because the bones will be fused together to form larger bones as the child grows. So in adulthood he will have a total of 206 bones. The bones have the main purpose to provide the structure and support that is required for a human body. The 206 bones are joined using the connective tissues and joints. So this is how the human skeleton system forms the framework. The total 206 bones can be classified into two axial bones and appendicular bones. We have a total of 80 axial bones and 126 appendicular bones. The skull, the vertebral column, the rib cage forms your axial bones. Whereas your arms and legs, pectoral griddle and pelvic griddle forms your appendicular bones. Next you are going to see the overview of the skeletal system. So in your overview you can see that you have the skull followed by the main bones as your ribs, your pelvic bone, in your legs you can find the thickest bone to be femur, followed by your tibia and fibula which forms the bones for your limbs. In your hands you have humerus, ulna and radius which forms the important bones in your hands. In your backside you have your vertebral column which provides strength and support for a human to stand erect which has a sacrum that is this portion of your vertebral column is called as sacrum in the end. So these are the major bones of a human skeletal system.
Next we are going to see about the bone structure. If you take a human bone, it contains various kinds of tissues which includes your osseous tissue, blood vessels and nerves. So these things combine to form your bone. The osseous tissues appear compact or spongy as you can see over here. So this is the structure of a human bone. It will have a compact bone, a spongy bone which has blood vessels and nerves running through it. If you see a compact bone looks solid and a compact bone will not have air spaces in between. So that is your compact bone. Over here you can see that your compact bone is tightly bound. It doesn't have any air spaces. If you observe the structure of a bone under a microscope, you can see that it contains a compact portion and a spongy portion. So the spongy bones, as you can see over here, are filled with air spaces. So your bone structure has fibers, compact bone, the spongy bone with blood vessels running in between. If we classify our bones by shape, we have four kinds of bones which are as follows long bone short bone flat bone and irregular bone long bones are the bones of your arms and legs and it is your femur that is the thigh bone and humerus your upper arm bone so that is your long bone your short bone is located in your wrists and your ankles of the foot And these are small bones like carpals which is in wrist and tarsals in your ankle bones. Our flat bones are the sternum that you can find in your rib cage, and the irregular bones are the bones of your vertebra. We'll see our flat bones and irregular bones in detail. So the flat bones are flat in structure and they are located in your skull and rib cages. The frontal bone of your skull is a flat bone as well as the sternum in your rib is a flat bone. Irregular bones are found in your vertebrae and your pelvic griddle. As you can see, the bone is irregular. It doesn't have a defined shape.
Next we are going to see how the bone structure differs between genders. If you see over here, we have the skull of a male and a female. The male skull will be larger and heavier whereas your female skull will be smaller and lighter compared to your male skull. The forehead in a male skull will be sloping whereas the forehead in your female skull is forehead is vertical. If you see the male skull will have a square chin whereas your female skull will have a round chin. The mastoid process in your male skull that is the bone behind the ears is more prominent in your male skull whereas if you take for a female the mastoid process is less prominent. The bone mass will be thicker in case of a male skull whereas the bone mass is thinner for a female. So these are the major differences between the skull of a male and female. Next we are going to see the difference between the pelvic bone of a male and a female. The male pelvic bones are taller, narrower and they are more compact. If you see for a female the pelvic bone is heavier and thicker. The pubic arch in a male pelvic bone is U-shaped whereas the pubic arch for a female pelvic bone is V-shaped as it will be greater than 90 degree. Male pelvic bones will have the pelvic inlet heart shaped. If you see for a female the pelvic inlet will be circular. So these are the major differences that we can find in the pelvic bone of a male and female. Next we are going to see the difference between the male sacrum and female sacrum. If you see for a male the sacrum will be narrower for a female it will be wider for a male sacrum will be longer compared to the female sacrum which is shorter. The sacral curvature is less sharp in case of a male whereas the sacral curvature of the female is more sharp. So these are the major differences for a male and a female sacrum. So thus the bone structure differs with the gender. Next we are going to see the types of bone marrow 
there are two types of bone marrow they are red marrow and yellow marrow red marrow consists of hematopoietic tissue which gives the marrow red color the process of generating your hematopoietic tissue is known as hematopoiesis so hematopoiesis is the cycle in which your tissue is generated generating your red marrow of the bone whereas your yellow marrow which is mainly made up of fat cells is yellow in color and it stores calcium so you can see over here that your yellow marrow has fat cells which stores calcium so thus there are two types of bone marrow red and yellow marrow next we have the functions of bones the main function of the bone is to give shape to your body parts and they'll support and protect the soft structures in a human body like your brain lungs and heart are safe inside the bones the bone and muscles in coordination helps a human to produce body movement and they also allow a human to move voluntarily so these are the major functions of bones Thank you so much for joining GTEC on overview of the skeletal system.